Hey everyone, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator vs. Reality, where we visit interesting, important, and unique airports around the globe, both in real life as well as in Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, we're visiting the three airports of the Galapagos Islands, famous for their wildlife. Though, as we'll see, Microsoft Flight Simulator is a bit confused and only has two airports. The largest airport is on the island of Baltra, or Seymour, which serves the larger island of Santa Cruz. It's a desolate rock that was blasted by the US military to make a naval station during World War II. I flew in and out on an Avianca A319 and A320, so the A320neo will do. On your left is Itabaca Channel, where most of the day boats depart from, though they are not rendered. You circle around North Seymour Island that still is teeming with wildlife and land on the desolate Baltra Island. It really is that desolate and completely uninhabited, though the simulator mistakenly adds some houses. Moving on to the island of Isabella, it's not served by commercial aviation, but only Fly Galapagos and MTB. I flew there on a Britain Norman BN2 Islander, which sadly isn't in the game, so this Cessna Grand Caravan will have to do. The terminal is all wrong, but it's so small to begin with. The final airport should be San Cristobal, code SCY, which is served by real airlines like Avianca, LATAM, and TAME but it somehow wasn't picked up by the satellites and it looks like it needs some help, as it's nothing but grass. But it's a real airport, I swear, I was there! So the Galapagos and Microsoft Flight Simulator are hampered by limited resolution satellite data and literally missing an airport, but it captures the range of climates and desolate nature of the islands quite well. It's only a pity the wildlife doesn't seem to be modeled in as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that button and please subscribe for my more traditional flight reviews as well as more Microsoft Flight Simulator content. I'll see you on the next one.